Hi, and welcome to another video from MassVision.net, The Sign Rule. The Sign Rule helps us to find missing angles and lengths for any triangle, which is especially helpful for triangles without a right angle. Now, let's take a look at the Sign Rule. Here we have the equation sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, which is also equal to sine C over C. Now let's take a look at our triangle to understand what this all means. We have our triangle marked out for us here. We can see our angles A, B and C, as well as our sides labelled A, B and C. The way in which the sides and angles are labelled are important, as we can see angle A is opposite side A, angle B is opposite side B, and finally angle C is opposite side C. So let's label our triangle with the information we do have. We can see that side A is 12, side B is 10, and we have our angle A measured here as 74.1 degrees. We can see that we have an angle A and side A, so looking to our formula we can write sine 74.1, that's the angle, which goes over our side measurement of 12. This equation we know from our formula will be equal to sine B over 10, the length of side B. This isn't enough information alone, so what we need to do here now is times each side by 10 to remove our side B from the equation. When this is done, we see that 10 becomes cancelled out in our second equation, leaving 10 times sine 74.1 over 12, which is equal to sine b. Using a calculator, 10 times sine 74.1 over 12 equals 0 0.8015, the sine of angle b. To find out what our angle b equals from this, we need to do the inverse sine. So, using our calculator, we do inverse sine 0 0.8015, which gives us the answer 53.27 when rounded to two decimal places. This means our angle B equals 53.27 degrees. Now we can continue to find our angle C. This is fairly straightforward, as to begin with, we know that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So writing down our angle A, 74.1, our angle B, 53.27, and C, we know that we're going to reach 180 degrees. So as you can see in this example, A and B together make 127.37, therefore 180 take away 127.37 equals 52.63. So our angle B is 52.63 degrees. Now, our final missing label is side C. So looking at our rule, we know we have to write down sine C over C, and since we have our angle for C, we know that it's going to be sine 52.63 over our missing label C, which from our sine rule we also know is equal to sine A over A. So sine 74.1 over 12. What we want to do next is get rid of our C on our left hand equation so just leaving our sine 52.63 now to do this we can times the entire equation by C but we need to remember that what we do to one side of an equation we must do to the other so our new equation is sine 52.63 equals sine 74.1 over 12 times C finally we'd like to get the C on the right hand side by itself Therefore, we need to turn the sine 74.1 over 12 upside down and multiply it by the expression. We remember also that what we do to one side of the equation, we must also do to the other. So the new expression becomes 12 over sine 74.1 times sine 52.63 equals C. Finally, when we enter everything into the calculator, we get 9.92 when rounded to two decimal places, which means our final missing letter is side C, which is 9.92. So, to summarise, our answer for angle B was 53.27 degrees, angle C was 52.63 degrees, and finally, our side C was 9.92. Thanks for watching and for more maths videos subscribe to our channel Revision World TV and for more maths revision go to mathsrevision.net